Are you preparing to take the Fundamentals of Engineering or the FE exam and wondering which calculator is best to use? In this episode, I'll explore the top calculators that can help you pass the FE exam with confidence. From Texas Instruments to HP, we'll compare the features, functionality, and usability of the most popular calculators on the market. Whether you're a student or a working professional, this video will provide you with information that you're gonna need to make the most informed decision and choose the absolute best calculator for your FE exam preparation. So let's jump in and set you up for success. Let's start by looking at why your calculator choice matters. Selecting the right calculator for the FE exam is a crucial decision. It can make the difference between passing and failing. The FE exam is a challenging test that requires not only strong technical knowledge, but also efficiency and confidence when solving problems. A well-suited calculator can help you do many things, including solve problems more quickly and accurately. It can help to reduce stress during the exam, and it can help you to improve the overall efficiency of your work and again, your confidence. With so many options on the market, choosing the right calculator, I know it can be very overwhelming. However, prioritizing this decision will ensure that you are well prepared for exam day. Understanding FE exam calculator restrictions. One of the biggest challenges that students face when selecting a calculator is ensuring that it meets the FE exam strict guidelines. The National Council for Examiners for Engineering and Surveying, or NCEES, has a pre-approved list of calculators that can be used during the exam. Any calculator outside this list is not permitted. Here are some common challenges that students face. Finding a calculator that balances functionality, ease of use, and affordability. Avoiding calculators with prohibited advanced features. Navigating through conflicting recommendations and reviews of calculators and keeping up with the evolving calculator market and changing exam policy. These all make it difficult. By selecting an NCEES approved calculator that aligns with your needs, you can eliminate the stress of last minute surprises on the exam, which is so important. Here are some of the key features to look for in a calculator. When choosing your FE exam calculator, consider the following essential features. First, here are the must have features. Approved by NCEES, you must ensure it meets the exam's regulations, first and foremost. Scientific functions. It must have the ability to perform logarithm, trigonometry, matrix calculations, and statistical analysis. User-friendly interface. Your calculator should have an intuitive layout to minimize errors during the exam. Battery life. It should have a reliable power source to last through the entire exam. And finally, Durability. It should be a well-built calculator that won't break under a lot of use. Here are some nice to have features. Equation recall and memory function. This is useful for solving multi-step problems. Fraction to decimal conversion. This feature helps simplify problem solving. And lastly, dual power, solar plus battery. This will ensure longevity because we know you're gonna need to use the calculator a lot. By focusing on these key features, you can find a calculator that not only meets the NCEES standard, but also enhances your problem solving speed and accuracy. Several calculators stand out as top choices for FE exam takers. These models comply with NCEES regulations and offer the essential functions needed for problem solving. Here are some of the top NCEES approved calculators. The Texas Instruments TI-36X Pro. The pros? This calculator is simple, easy to use, and packed with essential functions. Cons? It does not have graphing capabilities. Next, the HP 35S scientific calculator. The pros? This calculator offers reverse Polish notation in, which is great for engineering problems. Cons? It requires a slightly steeper learning curve. And lastly, the Casio FX115ES Plus and FX991EX. The pros? This calculator has a natural textbook display, which means it shows mathematical expressions and results on its screen exactly as they would appear in a textbook. And it has a very easy to use interface. Cons, it does have limited programming functions. Each of these calculators has its strengths and choosing the right one depends on your comfort level and your preferences. Here are some final recommendations. 
The Texas Instruments TI-36X Pro stands out as one of the best options for the FE exam. It offers a simple and intuitive interface, all necessary scientific functions, NCAAS approval for exam use, which is important, and affordability compared to the other models. However, the HP 35S and Casio FX115ES Plus also remain strong contenders based on personal preference and familiarity. Remember, your calculator is more than just a tool. It's a critical part of your FE exam strategy. So to maximize your success, pick the right calculator early on and stick with it. Practice extensively using your calculator on every practice exam that you take. And lastly, familiarize yourself with all functions to save time during the exam. Whether you choose the TI-36X Pro, HP 35S, or the Casio FX-115ES Plus, make sure it feels like an extension of your hand by exam day. With the right calculator and solid preparation, you will be well-equipped to ace the FE exam. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button because if you do, you're going to get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions and leave comments below this video that I will read and respond to in future videos. So if there's a topic you're struggling with or a question you need answered, pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on pass the FE exam.